our Moyen Sheepadoodles, our Poppins and Banks Sheepadoodles. And this is our four week video, guys. This is the halfway point. We are halfway there. I am so excited about these babies. You guys know my infatuation with my Sheepadoodles or Sheepa anything. Anything with my sheepy. Yeah. This is my little girl. She looks a lot like her daddy Banks. Hi. We are keeping this little baby girl to create mini and petite size sheepa doodles one day. One big day. And I've always wanted to keep one. So, hi. Hi there. So this is a litter of nine. And we just have um, three girls. Yes, three girls. So we have our purple collar girl who has already been chosen. We are, I'm sorry, excuse, we're crate training in the other room. So excuse the whining. Um, we have, um, with this, with all the different colors and markings, we are doing picking as people are placing their deposits. So. Purple has been chosen. Dark pink has been chosen. Come here, Pinky. Pinky. Dark green has been chosen. And I'm checking on orange. Not sure about orange. Where are you, Orangey? Are you hiding behind the pillow? Hang on, I gotta get Orangey. All right, this is Orangey Boy. Look at him. So he's got kind of the same facial features as my little girl, but look at the Anyway, I have one person that has asked about him, but nobody has actually placed a deposit on him yet. So he's available. Our Brindle here, the red collar boy is available. We usually get like two at least in the litter. This one, we only had one. I thought one of the girls was gonna Brindle up, but she's not looking too Brindle right now. So what that means is we have a lot of brown and gray in here. This whole thing here is gonna turn light tan and light gray. So he's gonna be very light in color, but look at that eye. I love that. I love that. Okay, next we have our lime green collar boy, and he is still available as this recording is happening. And he's got the traditional doodle, um, I mean, sheep -a doodle look, that stripe um, up the face and then the little collar. His collar is kind of, by collar, I mean the white collar. He kind of has a couple mixed marks there. Everybody has the little white paws and then the little white tip on the tail. Hi, baby. Okay, here's dark pink collar girl. She is already reserved. Look at her. She's got the traditional sheep -a doodle uh, that stripe that goes all the way up and then the white collar and the paws. Everybody has a white tummy. Look at the tail. Aren't you sweet? Aren't you a sweetie peety? Yes, you are. This is Turquoise Boy. He has the traditional sheep -a doodle stripe here. A little bit of white in the back. Not a full white collar though. Nope, just a spot in the back and then the white picks up underneath. Yeah. And the white on the tail. He is absolutely precious. Aren't you sweet? Look at, here's our dark green again. Hi, baby. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we're um, yellow. Here he is. So here is our little yellow. He's the smallest of the litter, but he's got spunk. Yes, see, I've got spunk. <laughs> Look at the markings back there. And he is the one with the little five fingers instead of four. Yes. So we're still watching that to see if that ever has to be dealt with or if he's just doing that. Yeah. Hanging on with that. Yeah, hi, Orangey. So here at week four, what we're doing, the puppies had another preventative deworming. Um, that is something that we do here every two weeks until they go home. They are eating gruel. So it's kind of hard to keep the white white here when they step in their gruel. They like to step in their gruel, lick it off each other, all that kind of stuff. Gruel is our puppy mush that we um, serve here. It's a mixture of our premium puppy food, uh, puppy um, formula, like, like what you would think about an infant formula for humans. Then we have a nutritional supplement that we put in there and uh, warm water. We blend it up in the blender. 
It's kind of like a porridge or an oatmeal consistency. And boy, they eat that up. And right now, we're getting the little bit of teeth nubs. Look at, can you see there? We're getting little bits of teethies. They're a tiny little bit. So they're eating a little bit of hard kibble from mama's bowl. They, whoops, sorry baby, sorry baby. They still, um, they're still with mama. And so her food in there, they just kind of start nibbling on that. Once everybody has teeth and we're really transitioning well over there to hard kibble, then we'll just go ahead and stop the grueling. But we like to keep up that grueling process to get all the nutrition that they need to have fat babies because we like fat babies. Yes, look at that tail. I always tell people, the tail tells all. It really does. So look here, look at Greeny. Do you see his tail? Is he doing anything? No, it's down. So a down tail can mean a couple things. It can mean I'm listening to you, I'm investigating. It can mean I'm scared. It can mean a lot of things. Right now I'm talking to him and he's not too sure. He's thinking about it. He's kind of investigating. What are you talking about? What are you saying? Can you talk to me? Talk to me. Let's hear ya. Yeah. So if I ever have somebody that um, says, oh my, you know, I, I don't know if my puppy feels well. Um, I always ask him, well, what is their tail doing? Uh, a happy, well puppy is gonna have that wagon tail, unless, like I said, they're investigating or they're not too sure. You always hear about, oh, you got your you know, tail between your legs, you know, when you scold them. Well, that's, that's actually what they do. They, they tuck that tail and uh, that can give you an indication of their moods. And that mood, a puppy that doesn't feel well is um, gonna show you that. They're gonna, they're not gonna be running around with their tail wagging. Oh my goodness! Okay, so do you guys see what I just did there? I responded to the puppy who's whining. And yeah, puppy stopped for a minute, but what that taught the puppy is, you know, keep, I'm gonna keep whining until she comes and rescues me. Now, when they're little like that, yes, I, we, do, we do come to their attention and their aid when they're crying um, because that's what they need. But when you guys take them home and they're home and, and you might put them in their playpen and walk away and they start whining, I say you're just gonna have to walk away and ignore them for a little bit because otherwise, let's say you wait for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, some, you could even be 40 minutes and they whine. That's just going, they're very smart and that's gonna teach them, okay, I'm just gonna whine for that amount of time and I get a response. Any response is uh, considered uh, a reinforcement for them. Look, we got the snuggle puppy here snuggling with the babies. But anyway, there's, you know, once a puppy's needs have been met, once they've had all their attention, once they've eaten, once they've gone potty, as long as they're perfectly fine and it's time for them to have their alone time or their nap time, then that's just fine to let them cry that out. I know, I'm not a, I'm not a, a cry it out person when it comes to my human babies and I um, definitely make sure that age appropriate and situation appropriate applies to our puppies. Um, as long, like I said, as long as all the needs have been met, everything is good, puppy's been held and played around with all morning. Once they're tired and tuckered out, that's a good time to put them in their area or have nap time in their crate. Guys, look at this thick, is it focusing? I feel like it's not focusing. It could be my eyes. This thick, thick coat. And excuse this, this is cat hair for me being inside. I swore I would never wear these pants again and Look at me, here I am wearing these pants again with, yes, we have we have two cats. And yes, we have people allergic to the cats. So it's, it's a lot of upkeep to have the cats that we have. But oh my goodness, I have kids that really do like them. So look at those little five, there's our five fingers. To toes, sorry guys, toes. Hi, Pinky, isn't she sweet? She's got a little bit of a, a shimmering tipping there. Yeah. She has just got such a thick soft coat. So these babies end up with a, a soft wavy cotton coat. Um, our sheep doodles so far have been non-shedding. You're gonna have a couple of little shedding instances 
um, as their actual hair comes in versus their puppy fluff. So the first um, one is usually about nine weeks, so maybe a week after you go home, around 12 weeks, and then again, around 11 months old, you could have a little more. And when I say shedding, I mean going like this and pulling something off. Um, I don't mean you're gonna have a bunch of hair around, but look at you guys going down, down, down. You can't get comfy, can you? Do you wanna sit on the snuggle puppy? Do you wanna snuggle with snuggle puppy? Yeah, will that work? Not too sure. Do you want mommy to hold you? Come here, I'll hold you. Here's dark greenie. There you are. Oh yes, you're down. Yes, you are. So during those phases, you can have a little bit of light shedding while your actual hair comes in. And for people like my husband who are severe asthmatics, putting your nose in their, in their hair can definitely be a problem during those stages. So if you're noticing that you're pulling off hair, just uh, if you have asthma or severe allergies, just don't snuggle up your face with them. That can cause some issues, but it usually takes about a week and then you're done with it. And this is that um, shaggy ragamuffin. I forgot to brush my hair kind of look. <laughs> you. you like your back rubs, don't you? So next week, guys, um, is already week five. We, since we're doing our picking, we're not going to have an official puppy picking, but we're gonna continue to have these videos so you can watch them. And that'll be really fun. That way when you watch the videos, you already know which puppy is yours and you can concentrate on that puppy. And um, I will be emailing you guys uh, just a reminder when puppy pickup is and just some reading material. That'll all be um, after next week's video but just some things coming up so you guys get prepared and that you're ready for these babies. All right, I'm gonna let you guys watch them. Watch them run around for a second here and we will come back and see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.